Well, welcome back. We are here now with Juliana Davila with the Beaumont CBB and Susan Jackson with the City of Beaumont. They have a great new website to tell us about. Just launched, right? Just yes. in time for Hispanic Heritage Month. Tell exactly us about it. that. So we've been working on this website for a little over a couple of months and I'm super excited to unveil it. We just unveiled it a couple of days ago um, for Hispanic Heritage Month. So it's a website that will have all of our current information, but in Spanish for all of our community that is Spanish speaking or bilingual. Uh, and I'm super excited to give everybody, you know, exactly what they need in the language that they want to have it in. Yeah, and you're going to link businesses? Yes, so businesses, events, uh, restaurants, things to do, everything that's on our normal website, uh, but then translated into Spanish and also highlighting um, a couple of different businesses and business owners and the people in the community. Fantastic. Something they couldn't get before if they exactly. didn't speak English. Well. Right. Exactly okay, right. and then what about the visitor's guide? So the visitor's guide, I also just finished translating into Spanish. We just ha got it printed and brought to the office today, which is super exciting. How long did that take you? A uh, couple of days. That wasn't too bad. I kind of focused in and just did it. Uh -huh. um, my AirPods in and, and working <laughs> like on it. Uh, but that's also a nice product to have, especially if some people really don't want to go to the website. They want to have a paper copy maybe in their purse or their car or whatever. And that also has a lot of our, our top attractions and um, information, restaurants, things to do, and easily accessible for everybody. All right, Susan, tell us why this is a big deal for the Hispanic population in the city. It's about connection, community mm -hmm. and connection. Just yesterday evening, we were at a Hispanic Business Association and it was well over 200 business owners there. And so to be able to unveil this project relies on the connection of the community. Our city is growing in so many different levels. So it's a good way for the visitors to understand everything that is here, but also our locals to know that, hey, we may not even have tried this or might not have known about it. Right. So it's, um, I think it's a piece that really will connect everybody together and we're growing with the city, we're growing with the times. And so Beaumont is on the map and we're here for it. What about the Hispanic population here? Is it growing as well? Yes, 100% it is growing and it's a good force for economic growth as well. And we like to go and experience different cultures, no right. matter what city we go to, but we're really thankful that Beaumont is really strong in our Beaumont spirit, our heritage, I guess you right. could say, yes. How, was it a collaborative effort? Did you go to the city and say, this is what we want to do, or something you just came? Uh, my director actually is the one who, who kind of prompted the, the website creation. Um, she kind of put it in my brain for a little while, and, and I thought it was a really great idea. We have our Viva Beaumont Festival that happens right. in the spring. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of an offshoot of that because there were so many people that had that need for a language that was for them specifically. Uh, and so I volunteered at the festival a couple of times to help people just kind of know where they're going, where, where to go, what to do, what to say. Um, so it was just nice to have something that can be easily accessible for people. I love it. Viva Beaumont and you're launching it the perfect month. Exactly yes. that. Everybody go check it out. Thank you both for coming on Thank today. You. Thank you. I'm going to go check it out as well. Yeah. And Jeff's going to check